So it, Emmett, just give me emotions. Uh, another big comeback from you guys. Uh, I don't want to say you expect it, but uh, what, what's your feeling when you get get down? And then how's the emotion when you guys start to make a run? Uh, I think our emotions were, we had a lot of energy, but at the same time, we, we tried to stay calm because obviously that that run could have stopped whenever. And, you know, uh, you know, we're happy it didn't stop at all. And it just kept going. And once we got the lead, we kind of just kept going from there. And we tried to keep the momentum as much as we could. You know, Ramey came off, came off the bench with, I think, four fouls and hit two back to back. So, you know, in situations like that, you know, you just got to try to keep the energy and, you know, not get too high, not get too low. And that's kind of what happened. Our next question is from Justin Jackson. Hey, Emmett, uh, that matchup zone you guys are playing in the second half, it looked like it maybe kind of confused Texas a little bit, maybe forced them to take some some deeper shots maybe at times. Uh, can you just talk about, uh, you know, how that defense worked out for you guys? And then, you know, did you guys – I don't know if you guys even tried that in the first half at all, did you? Uh, it was just man-to-man, -man, you know. Uh, that's all I could say it was. It was just man-to-man. -man. And, you know, we just did our job. It was a little bit different from what we usually do man to man, but it was man to man and it worked and we got them to take some shots that were, you know, questionable. And, you know, I think in the first half, we just didn't get those rebounds and we gave them second half or second chance buckets. And that's what we took away the second half. Cody Nesper. Emmett, how important was effort today? It, it seems like you especially were on the floor a ton. Um, you know, I mean, last time we played them, obviously it didn't, you know, things didn't pan out to be how we all wanted. And, you know, I, I, I put that game on myself personally. And, you know, no matter what the team said, you know, I felt like, you know, missing two free throws to, to you know, potentially seal the game. You know, I, I took that personal. And so today I just wanted to give it my all and, you know, make sure every time there was a loose ball, you know, that I was diving for, you know, stuff like that. Next question is from Mike Kazaza. Emmett, this is um, this is kind of familiar territory for y'all. I think it's your fifth win when you're down by ten or more, and it seems like it's hard to say. Do you expect this? But to some extent, do you kind of expect this to to not get down. But if you do get down, then to find a way back into it now. Um, you know, I, I think that's the the mentality of every team. You know, we come into the timeouts, and you know, we still say we're going to win the game. You know, it doesn't matter if we're down ten, twenty, you know, even thirty. You know, I mean, it's just a the mindset that, you know, of the players, the coaches, it's, you know, the whole staff, we come into timeouts and, you know, I think they went up 18 and, you know, we, we got a timeout and coach Martin, you know, he says, we're, we're going to win this game. It's going to be one of the hardest things we did, but we're going to win this game. And, you know, we did just that. And I think that's kind of just the, the story of us, you know, we're a resilient bunch and, you know, we, we love basketball and, you know, if we get down, we're going to fight our way back. Justin Jackson. Hey, Emmett, kind of off that a little bit, I think this was your guys' fifth straight uh, conference uh, road win. Uh, obviously, uh, the, you know, in past years, the road wasn't always good. This year, you know, away from the Coliseum, you guys have been have been pretty good. Just any key or, or keys behind that? And, do you, you know, do you guys take pride in where you guys are playing on the road this year? Uh, we know for us to, you know, do what we want to do in the Big 12, we're going to have to win home games. But, you know, We've, we've given up home games that we, we should have won, but, you know, winning on the road is one of the hardest things to do. You know, I think just because you're playing against, you know, usually you're playing against the fans, but, you know, it's just you know, unfamiliar territory, you know, and I mean, for me personally, I just, you know, like to think of it as revenge for, you know, my first two years here. I think, you know, my first year, every team took, they, they you know, they, they took it to us and we couldn't really do anything about it. You know, we every team tried to beat us by 30, 40, didn't matter. So, you know, for me, just, this year, I feel like is, is is a big year for us, and you know, winning on the road is just happens to be one of the things we're doing really well. And one one last question for me too: uh, the shot they got uh, coming off the inbounds play uh, before the tip play, uh, the, the the play before that uh, where, where Jones is coming out of bounds, uh, uh, he got a pretty good look there, and obviously he hit the three against you guys to win the first game back in January. What kind of goes through your mind when? when you know, you see the same guy kind of taking another you know, similar shot in, in a late game fashion like that. Uh, I mean, really nothing was going through my mind. You know, I, he shot and he said game. So I knew he was going to miss when he said that. I mean, that's just, you know, not a lot of people can, can really be, you know, that confident to call a game and make that shot in that situation. But, you know, he's a hell of a player and, you know, he's, 
he's done everything that you know he's supposed to do. But you know, tonight was just not their night, and you know, he was open and we lost him, and he missed a shot, and you know, we just locked down on the next possession and got the win. Greg Hunter. So Emmett, to, to follow up with that, just to verify, he called. He yeah. said he was going to make the shot. Before he, said, he, he said game. So uh, that's just something everybody says. You know, if you have the opportunity to make a game winner, you shoot it and you say game. Don't miss it. But if you shoot it and say game, you know, that's, it looked good from where I was at, but it wasn't. So. Follow up that. Then on the lob after that, what, what were you guys trying to do? Protect the rim. Mm-hmm. You know, we put Sandy in there because we knew Sandy would do a good job of being over the ball and make it hard for him to throw a lob. And, you know, that was really just our, our big goal is to protect the rim. But, you know, uh, they got Sims down there, and I think he probably has a 50-inch vertical at, you know, almost seven foot. So it's kind of hard to, you know, keep the ball out of his hands when it's, you know, 12, 13 feet in the air. Any other questions for Emmett? Okay, thank you, Emmett. Thank <laughs> you.